For coastal Georgians, this is a terrible day to go boating. Cold, windy, and wet. But for the Canadian Air Rescue Team training in the area, this weather is a breeze. As you can imagine, in Canada, the weather's are, weather is uh, quite cool these year, this time of the year. Uh, we were experiencing temperatures, uh, you know, minus 5 to, you know, plus 10, 20 uh, Fahrenheit. The Canadians are conducting this particular exercise with a research vessel from Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary, an ocean protected area located 17 miles offshore of McIntosh County, Georgia. Uh, what they were doing is uh, simulating that we were a vessel in distress, uh, a vessel not underway or dead in the water. In the beginning of the exercise, a Canadian C-130 Hercules flies low overhead and drops flares to mark the Ferguson's position and track wind speed and direction. Another pass overhead and the air crew tosses out emergency supplies tethered to a parachute. The boat crew uses a hook to bring the gear on board. Then the action gets more intense as a Canadian Super Huey helicopter hovers just above the vessel, dropping and recovering rescue swimmers right onto the deck. I put my life in their end and in the flight engineer and the hoist operator because at the point where I'm hooked and I go down the hoist, I don't really have a lot of input. There's definitely a psychological aspect to it. We have, you know, good friends who are you're, you're putting down on the cable, down onto the deck of another vessel, who are there to do a job, and that's to save, save somebody else's life. Roger that, standing by for double hoist. This training serves an important purpose for the crew of the research vessel as well. It'll come in handy if anything goes wrong in the future. Of course, in a normal situation, the rescuers would be aboard a U.S. Coast Guard helo from Coast Guard Air Station Savannah. That's why Gray's Reef personnel train regularly with them as well. It's uh, vital. They're actually our lifeline uh, when we're out 30 miles plus offshore at Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary. If a diver is injured in any type of diver emergency, we require a helicopter to come and pick them up and bring them because it's about a 25 minute flight to and from either a hospital here in uh, Savannah or a hospital in Jacksonville. In Savannah, I'm Michael Jordan reporting for Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary.